Hey, After Buzzers, I'm here with Lana McKissick. She plays Allison in The Last Breakfast Club. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what I want to know is what got you first interested in doing this project? Oh, man. I love Rockwell. Um, I did three shows here last year, uh, and they were all awesome. I had the best time. Um, and uh, yeah, I, getting the chance to do another show here and one that's so different, because everything about it is different from the prior shows, um, just seemed really cool. And everyone in it is amazing, and it's the script is awesome, and the whole creative team rocks. It's just so much fun. Now, this is a very unique space. It's very interactive, yes. we should say, when it comes to the audience. Um, would you, what would you do, like, when people come here for audience, would you, like, forewarn them about? You mean when friends of mine come? Yeah, you know. Because I don't warn anyone who's not my friend. I'm like, good luck. <laughs> um, I say, you know, somebody might eat your food, although I don't think that really happens in this show, but it could. Um, so you drink. Yeah, so you drink. I never did that. I always thought it was unsanitary, but to each their own. Um, what else? That, you know, you might get pulled on stage. That happens from time to time. Um, but that you're going to have the best time ever. I always warn people about that because some people come and they're like, I don't want to have a good time. And you're like, you're going to. Who would you say you most relate to? In high, when you're in high school, character-wise, it doesn't have to even just be Allison or Claire. You could have been, you know, a brain or a jock. Definitely not the jock. I'm the most unathletic person you'll ever meet. Um, maybe. Hold on a second. I've seen you do the like your the cheerleader move. You can, you got some moves. Wait a second. Okay, I'm very flexible, but that's just natural. <laughs> I don't have any like skills. I can't do anything with that flexibility. Um, <laughs> I was probably. A combination of the brain and I don't know maybe the princess I went to an all-girl Catholic high school so uh, you know there were limits to there really weren't anybody any people walking around like flicking people off or you know writing things on lockers just because they'd get expelled I think pretty quickly <laughs> yeah mm. how old were you when you first saw the breakfast club oh my god this is so embarrassing uh, I just first saw The Breakfast Club maybe a year ago. Don't tell anyone, though. Seriously, this is a secret. We, we won't tell anybody. It's very secret. Okay, I appreciate that. I trust you. Um, yeah, I hadn't seen it. I've still never seen Pretty in Pink or Sixteen Candles. It's on Netflix. It's on Hulu. Oh, I know. <laughs> but now I've been watching this movie on repeat so that I can, like, you know. Embrace. Yeah, yeah. So... Once I'm done, you know, watching this for the 80th time, then I'll move on to the next one. But I don't know what happened. I've also never seen Saved by the Bell. I'm just very strange. Hulu. I'm just going to say Hulu. Because um, <laughs> I'm just like, I love Saved by the Bell. Yeah. So what do you want people to get out when they come here to see the show? I want people to leave feeling like they didn't just laugh a lot, but that they also felt something. Garrett is warming up, and he sounds like an angel. He makes me, like, want to be better. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, I want people to, to leave with a smile on their face, but also feeling like maybe they, you know, had a good feel-good moment, or they learned something, or, you know, I don't know, just something more than your typical, uh, I got drunk and laughed a lot, which is also fantastic and totally a great way to spend your weekend. I do like that this has a little something extra. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. See you guys later, guys.